You'd never think there'd be so many ways to zoom into a photo, but there are lots of different ways to do that. And I'll cover all the ways you can do that, and you pick the one that you it best suits you. So the one I already kind of mentioned in the preferences where I said to show the scroll wheel, or the zoom in scroll wheel, that's the one I use a lot. So what I'll do is I'll zoom up and zoom in with my scroll wheel, and I'll scroll, scroll back with my scroll wheel as well. And I'll push it forward and backward and you'll see what yours does. Now if that doesn't work and if you don't have a scroll wheel, you can also use your Control Plus on your keyboard or Control Minus to zoom in and out as well. And if that didn't help you, then you can go up and you can use your actual zoom tool, which is the way, the kind of the old fashioned way. You click on the Z on the keyboard, or you just go ahead and click on it with your mouse. And then you're going to have a little uh, magnifying glass that has a little plus inside of it. And then you can scroll into or zoom into that particular area. Now we have the plus sign right now, but if you held down the option, no, sorry, the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac, you're going to have a little negative that shows up and then you can zoom back out. So if you release the Alt key, it will turn into a plus and wherever you click, it should go to that area. I'm clicking at the boots right now and then if you hold that Alt or Option key down, it will turn into a negative. So you can zoom in that way as well. Another cool thing is when you are zoomed in so close, you can take your hand tool, and normally people will go over and grab the hand tool, but if you hold that space bar down, you can um, navigate around. See how I'm clicking and dragging around my photo? You can do that with the hand tool, but if you forget to hold down that space bar, you can always go over and hit the H on your keyboard, or you can go over to your tools, and then you grab that hand but it's so much easier if you toggle between them by using the short key commands. So now I've got back my zoom tool. I'm zooming in with the plus. I hit that alt key or the option key to zoom back out. Or you can do the control or command plus on your keyboard to zoom in or the minus to zoom back out. Another thing too, as you notice here on the right hand side, you'll see these little scrolls where you can scroll around as well. A lot of times I'm too, uh, you know, you're just quick and you don't remember those little guys, but you can use those to scroll around as well. If you want to zoom back out and see the whole entire photo, you just double click on the hand tool, or if you want it to go to 100%, you double click on the magnifying glass and that will shoot you to 100%. You'll see that down here. And you can also use these down here where you go one to one, fit screen, fill screen, or print size. Okay, so you can toggle between any of those. That's when you have the zoom tool selected. You can zoom in this way as well. There's another way, lots of different ways. And you can use the navigator tool, which is in, under window and navigator, or just hit the F12, and you can zoom in and around about that photo this way as well. So like I said, there's 10 different ways you can do this play around with it. You will get used to one or the other. Look how tight I'm in here now. This is not a very, very high resolution photo, so you will be seeing some pixelation, but normally on a higher resolution it won't be this pixelated. Okay, And then you can move around by taking this slider and sliding it around that way as well. So go ahead and play around with all those different options you have for the zoom, navigator, and hand tool. Remember the hand tool, you can automatically push on the space bar and it will turn it into a hand and that will allow you to move around your photo as well.